Well, we haven't got anything going. Um, obviously disappointing today, so we've got a lot to get fixed. How did you feel physically coming into it and out of it? I feel good. Can you uh, pinpoint if there's a disconnect? Because it seems like Zach, and when we talk to you guys, you have a good week in practice, and through four games, it hasn't necessarily translated to game day. Can you, as the leader of this team, pinpoint maybe where there might be a disconnect if there is one? Just got to keep stacking days. Um, like you said, we haven't put it together yet. Uh, but long season. Uh, we're going to keep working every day, keep getting better. That's all you can do. How frustrating was it after that first drive? Because it looked like you were in the rhythm seeing well, the guys move the ball downfield to not be able to, to keep that going at all. After they come yeah, good first drive. Didn't, weren't able to punch it in the end zone. Um, and that, that's kind of how the rest of the day went. What changed after that? Just weren't able to weren't able to find it. weren't able to find complete balls down the field. weren't able to really do anything. So got a lot to get fixed. Is there an attitude that needs to change to go inside the room? Sense? I wouldn't say attitude needs to change. I would say we just got to execute better. Joe, when you're down as big as you were in the fourth quarter, and you're obviously not 100. percent Were you lobbying to stay in the game? What, what was the reward as opposed to the risk of you staying in there in the fourth quarter? I feel. I always feel like we're in it. It was a three or four score game, you know, midway through the third. So, uh, you know, we were still in it up until up until really quarter of the way through the fourth quarter. Even then, were there any discussions about about you kind of taking you know to not no? no. Do you do you like even in those kind of situations? Is there a point of pride to say I'm, I want to finish this game? I would say so. The yeah. ball where they. Said the ball where they ruled it a, a fumble first and turned it back to an incomplete. It looked like you got hit on your arm as you were throwing. Was was there any discomfort in the oval after that? No. Zach said nothing was good enough about today. Said nothing was good enough. Does it feel like the offense is close right now in any way, or do you feel like you're a long way from where you need to be? Hmm. Depends on the day. Today we weren't close. We weren't close to winning the game. So um, we have been in the past. Um, like I said, got a lot of work to do. Through, through four games, does this feel like a, a, a playoff team at this point? Well, not if we keep playing the, the way we are. We know we, we have the capability of being a playoff team. Uh, but that's so far in the future. we got to just worry about tomorrow and getting better tomorrow at this point. Is that, is that frustrating kind of at this point here, given how successful you've been the last couple of years, for that kind of to be a question at this point? Yeah, whenever you're, whenever you're one and three, it's frustrating. Did you get the sense that they were just going to force some matter? It depended on the it depended on the down. They blitzed here and there. Um, I wouldn't say they blitzed every play. Have you been seeing more blitzes this year? It's tough to say that. Um, teams are blitzing us every now and then. What were they doing to make it so hard, so challenging? Well, they're really good up front. Um, they got good players. They got good scheme. They had good plan. Joe, this group has been so reliable. This offense, you guys know each other so well. What is the most surprising to you about it just not working the way it's working? You just haven't scored any points. Do you feel like there's enough variety to your offense to help you in that you're not 100% right now? Do you feel like there's enough in the running game and, in, and schematically that you're, you have enough to support what you're going Yeah, we just haven't executed the plays that have, have been called. Um, whatever play is called. As long as you execute it correctly, you know, it always has a chance. Coming off, coming, off, coming off the first drive, were you looking to hold on to the ball for a tick longer and try to be more pressure down the Um, I pick my spots. Pick my spots like I always do. Um, there were points where, where I tried to, but, uh, you know, like I said, nothing was really clicking today. Um, how challenging is it to kind of, I mean, how much are you, I guess, fighting your instincts when you're back there? Your instinct would naturally be to take off run or to spin out of something or whatever. Are you fighting that? And is that part of the hard part of what you're going through right now? Uh, I mean, it's hard to say. Um, I'm playing the way I'm playing. It's, uh, we just got to get better in practice. 
Got to continue stack days, get better every day. When did you just have a peak and you're in a hole already? How, how much more challenging is that? Not only that you're down multiple scores and you're playing your best guy? Yeah, whenever, you, whenever T's not out there, we're not as, as good of a, a football team. Um, but like I said, whatever, whatever circumstance presents itself, you got to adapt to it and make it work. This group together isn't used to results like this. How do you, as one of the leaders on this team, help them manage the emotions that can come with the one and three start? Yeah, we've 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 had rough rough stretches in the past. We know how to come out of them. Um, we just got to keep chucking away. Is there a sense to where this should not be happening, and are people and the guys inside there angry about it? I would say. Whenever you're one and three, you're going to be frustrated. You're going to be angry. You're going to be, you know, wanting to to win games, and we haven't been. Um, and we're not going to let anything like that, you know, come between us. That's how you end up having a bad season. So we've had a bad start. We had a bad first quarter. So we got three more quarters of the year to to get through and go from there. There have been there have been instances in the past, well documented instances, where you go down by. Yeah, we just didn't make any plays. Really, in, in all three phases, we didn't make the plays that were necessary to, to win the game. I know you said that your, your career is going to be the full window, but there were very high expectations for this team because of who you returned and all, having all the coordinators. Is it puzzling to you that this start has happened? No, you watch the tape and you see we didn't execute. I wouldn't say it's puzzling. At all, we just haven't executed the way we needed to 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 win these games. And so, as soon as we fix that, we're going to start winning the games. Um, like I said, we just got to keep chucking away every day in practice. We're going to continue to get better. Come back next week. The first series of the game, third down, timeout, third down run. Kind of what happened? Kind of on that stretch didn't look like it was clean. Yeah, we you know got something that I wasn't quite expecting. So you know we we called a timeout um, and then came back and had a white box, so, so we ran it, thought we were going to be able to punch it in.